Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you be notified when I drop that heat, this video is sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, his mixtape is in the description box, he is one of my personal favorites, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video is sponsored by my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we all from W E A L L F R O M. Congrats to the new 168 pound champion of the world, Kayla Plant. Got the victory over Jose Uzkatsugi on Sunday. Um, <laughs> my boy, the blunt truth. I owe you $25 on the bet. I got you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But despite G5 Jeff TV going 0 and 1. In prediction videos for 2019 Caleb Plant the congrats is much deserved and even though I picked Jose Uzkatsugi to win the fight I was rooting for Caleb Plant because anybody that has heard about his story or read his story um y'all know that his daughter passed away I think in 19 months and there's no worse pain than someone burying their child. And going into the fight, Caleb Plant basically said, boxing is my first and my last option. Winning this belt is my first and my last option. And you got to respect somebody that's going in to any situation with that type of motivation and with that all or nothing mentality. Because that mentality breeds success. So it was really good for Caleb Plant to accomplish winning that belt. Because I know he did it for his daughter. Now, in terms of the, the, the technical parts of the fight, Caleb Plant, uh, he boxed beautiful. I, I mean, he, he boxed beautiful. Um, first eight rounds of the fight, I mean, textbook, masterpiece, you know, even in a prediction video that I did, I said that Caleb Plant is one of the sharpest technicians I've seen in a while in terms of just technique and basics. It's one of the sharpest I've seen in a while. And once he builds his name up, he's going to be a problem. He's going to be a big problem. Now, I thought with Jose Uzkatsugi, I thought with him fighting Andre Durrell twice, that he seen Caleb Plant's style enough for him to adjust and basically impose his power on Caleb Plant. Now, what happened was Caleb Plant was so good in the first half of the fight he made Jose Uzkatsugi keep his hands in his pocket and on top of that got two knockdowns off of exchanges where he just beat Jose Uzkatsugi to the punch. Caleb Plant is going to be a big-ass problem for everybody at 168. I'm telling y'all right now. Even in the prediction video, I said it was a 50-50 fight. I really tried to, you know lean it towards Jose Uzkatsugi strictly because of the Durrell fights and going into that fight the one thing that was alarming to me and this is not hindsight 2020 this is just basically I'm a hardcore boxing fan and I look at everything the fight was at 168 Jose Uzkatsugi came in at 165.2 now, for somebody that's not a hardcore boxing fan, you're like, okay, well, so what? He came in, you know, uh, basically three pounds underweight. That's a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a lot. Um, I'm not sure how much weight Jose Uzkatsugi had to lose, but as a boxer, you don't lose more weight than what you have to. 
you don't lose a lot more than what the contracted weight is. Um, the only other time that I've really seen that is um, Miguel Cotto. He did that in a fight where he weighed like four pounds under the contracted weight. Basically, this was around the time he was trying to make people think that he wasn't a middleweight and, you know, he was trying to prove to people that he didn't want to fight Triple G at that time because he was light. He was light in the ass. So I seen, you know, Miguel Cotto do it. But for Jose Uzcategui to come in basically three pounds under weight, that was alarming. That was alarming. Uh, Uzcategui came out flat came out real flat um he just looked stiff uh moving in slow motion he was in front of Caleb Plant but he wasn't he wasn't doing nothing by the time Uskatagi started putting his hands together he cut Caleb Plant bloodied his nose he hurt Caleb Plant in the fight but he had no mustard no mustard on his shots it didn't look like he had any power at all in that fight, but just looking at it now, like that that one sixty five point two might have did Uskatsuki in before the fight even started, but it was still up to Caleb Plant to go in there and take it, and Caleb Plant did what a you know a person that's fighting for a title is supposed to do. Don't leave any doubt. Go in there go take it and show that you're the better fighter and that's what Caleb Plant did so again congratulations to Caleb Plant the future is ahead of Caleb Plant um he's gonna be a monster he's gonna be a monster uh going forward for anybody at 168 y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section g5 jeff tv hit the subscribe button hit the like button please share this video support your boy support good content at all times i appreciate y'all Peace.